Welcome. This is Carolyn Bell Yoga. For our class today, you'll need a block or something similar, a book, and you will need a strap. I'm still using my scarf. It works perfect. The title of the class today is called Pratyahara. This word means observation, and it's one of the eight limbs of Patanjali's uh, yoga. The word itself means to separate the mind from the senses, which means we are present without judgment. Drishti is an important part of this practice, so you need to find an eye gaze in every pose. It's going to be a challenging practice, but I, I, I don't want you to make judgments about what your body looks like or how you feel in the pose. I just want you to do your best and um, breathe throughout the practice. Senses draw us into the world. Every time we see something, we make observations, we create stories about it, we form opinions, we have thoughts and emotions about everything. As we practice today, I just want you to be present in body, mind, and spirit without judgment. No one is watching you to see what your body is looking like in the pose. I'm sure I'm going to be wobbling around a lot too, and that's okay. Just breathe with pure awareness and be present in that pose. We're going to start with some color body breathing. Remember, that's that, those, that puff of air as it comes in and out of your lungs, and you're drawing the belly in and pushing it up so the energy goes up. Put your hands on your knees and close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And then begin to pump it out through your nose. Take another deep breath, open mouth, exhale. Let's try it again. Inhale, pump it out. Deep breath, open mouth, and exhale. We'll do that one more time. Just do your best. It's a, I do it rather slowly. You can do it faster if you're able. Inhale. Pump it out and up. Pull it up. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Now just sit for a moment with the eyes closed. Notice any sensations in the body. Do you feel more alive? Did you wake your body up with that breath? Call a body breathing. Did you release some tension out of your shoulders? Bringing the hands to heart center. We offer our intention for the practice today. May I be present in each moment. May I practice the pose without judgment, without opinion, with, without the thought of the pose is good or bad. May I just do my best. Opening the eyes, we're going to turn to the side and uh, to our hands and knees and wake up the body just a little bit. <clears throat> Spread those fingers and just do some circular motions. 
moving around. <clears throat> There's no right or wrong, just move around, forward and back. What feels good to your body? And then begin to move naturally into your cat and cow. So arch the back, drop the head. Inhale and exhale into cow. Drop the belly, look forward. Go as fast or slow as your body needs this morning or needs today. If it feels good to hold a position, hold the position. Maybe look to the right and to the left. Maybe kind of roll those shoulders a little bit. Trying to get into the body. And then return to your cat and cow. Spread those shoulder blades. Get some space in the body. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. <clears throat> Breathe deeply. Press back to child just for a moment. Crawl those fingers forward, lengthen underneath the arms. Reaching behind you, interlace your fingers. Now roll to the top of the head, pair pose. Arms are up. Release back down, bring the arms forward, and return to hands and knees. Right arm and left leg reach forward. And now bring it in and out. Inhale and exhale. Draw it in and out. Breathe with it. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Now open out. Reach behind you. Grab that foot. Now open the arm and leg to the side. Right hand down, we're doing a modified side plank, Vestisasana. Lifting the left leg up, find balance. Reach behind me, grab the foot. Slight back bend, open the heart space. And then release, lifting up, we find our gate pose. Release the arm back down. Stepping the left foot back for wild things. So you just straighten the bottom leg, the right leg, and open the heart space. And then return to hands and knees. Inhale and exhale. Cat pose, cow pose. We're waking all the muscles in the body. Cat and cow. Press back child's pose. Lengthen those arms. Crawl the fingers forward. Stretch. Slide the hands back. Roll to the top of the head. Hair pose. Arms up. Release, let's move back to hands and knees. Inhale and exhale. Left arm forward, right leg back. Extend, table balancing. And now we'll do that in and out motion. 
elbow to knee and open, back and forth. Now hold it open, reach back and grab the foot. Release, bringing the leg to the side, the arm to the side, opposite side, and then turn back for the modified side plank. Open and expand your heart space. Letting the right leg come up, balance. Reach back and grab the foot. And now stepping back with the right foot, extend the left leg straight. We have the wild thing. Turn to the knee, hands and knees, uh, the right knee. Let's do gate pose. I mixed that up. That's okay. No judgment here this morning. Release the hands down. <clears throat> Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Press back. Take a moment to walk the dog. Let's move around in the pose. It may have been a few days since you've done yoga. So get some movement. And then find a bit of stillness in your Adho Mukha Shavasana. Inhale and exhale. Wrap the, the upper arms the biceps in towards the head, spread the shoulders, press the thighs back, find breath, find an eye gaze. And now right foot steps forward, drop the back knee, just keep the arms down for the moment. Sinking the hips forward. You may need to move your front foot forward a little bit more. Sink those hips forward. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. And now planting the hands down. Lift the back knee. You're on the top of the back foot. And now rook, step back, downward facing dog, right leg goes up, bend that knee and then just shake that leg out. Give it a good shaking. Bring the knee to the chest, fall in triangle, right leg goes to the side, under the body, left arm up. Bring the left hand down, the right leg goes back up. I want you to do some more shaking, shake it out. And then find that downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana, and then lower the forearms down, we're in dolphin. Inhale and exhale. Are you feeling the energy begin to wake up, rise up out of the body? Deeper breaths coming. Now lift the elbows up again. You're in downward facing dog. 
Left leg rises. Step forward. Drop the back knee down. Sink forward with those hips. As we practice today, what draws your attention? Where's your attention going? I want it to stay on the breath, but where do you find it going? And now the top of the foot is staying down as you lift the back knee. Squeeze the muscles to the bones. And now roll over those toes, lift the left leg up and shake it out. Release tension, give it a good shake. Bring the knee to the chest, extend it to the right, leg to the right, ball and triangle. Lift that heart up, open the heart. Inhale and exhale, turn back, bring the knee back in and up, shake it out. Downward facing dog, inhale and exhale, push the floor away. Long deep breath, spread those shoulders and then drop the forearms down to dolphin. Should feel really nice to the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the calves. Drop the knees down, rest in child's pose. Are you present? Are you aware of the, what is happening in the present moment? We're returning to dolphin. So the forearms are going down, tuck the toes and lift the hips. Find an eye gaze on the mat, or you could look towards the back feet. Right leg goes up. Option is to bring the forearms a little closer to the back foot. We're going to come to the left hand. Maybe wrap this left arm around the back of the waist. The drishti is Super important if you fall out of it like I just did, you just rebalance, reposition, and try it again. Release, dolphin pose, drop the knees down. Let's take a brief rest in child's pose. Bring the arms back, rest those arms. Notice if your mind begins to wander and you start making judgments about how you're doing in that pose or can you hold it, can you not, then you lose balance completely. Try it again and stay as present as you can with the breath. Forearms down, dolphin pose. We're doing the other side this time. Find breath. Inhale and exhale, you need a focal point. Left leg up. Now find a spot on the mat or the back foot. Find your drishti. Right hand comes up, or comes back. Go to the fingertips first, and then see if you can wrap. Everybody falls, no worries, just catch yourself. Adding energy 
to the body to help you to hold the pose. Release down, drop the knees, and let's rest again. Inhale and exhale. Adho Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Right leg lifts, lifts up, three-legged dog. Now bring the knee to the chest, step forward. Angle the back foot, Virabhasana one, arms come up. Interlace your fingers together. Push the palms up. Find that beautiful eye gaze, the drishti. Allow your mind to become present. And now release the arms. We're just changing the arms. Interlace the fingers behind you and reach back. Draw those shoulder heads back. And now wrap the arms around the back of the waist to the right. Stay strong, stay steady. You got this. Humble warrior, the arms lift up and back as you bow forward inside the foot. Count the breaths if it helps you to stay present. Inhale, rise. Keeping those hands interlaced behind you, move forward to the right standing leg. Left foot touches down and back, and we begin to tilt forward to a warrior three. Airplane pose, open the arms. Half moon. Sorry, I didn't have the block right where it was needed. Put the block underneath the hand. No judgment there. It just is what it is. Grab your block and put it there. Release down, standing splits. And then slowly bring that left leg down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Open the arms and rise up. As you rise, bring that left knee up. Arms open out by the shoulders. Right hand reaches to the left big toe. <clears throat> and then you straighten that leg as you find your standing twist. If you lose balance, just try again. No judgment. Release, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Shake out this right leg for a moment. And then step to the right, Skandasana. Hands down, move to the middle. Bend both knees, drop way down. Drop those hips down. 
Inhale and exhale. Get some breath in the body. No judgment. When we get into uncomfortable positions, sometimes our minds start scattering thoughts. Return to the breath. Straighten the legs. Reaching behind you, interlace the fingers. Let the arms fall back. And then we tuck the chin and we rise. Hands to the waist. Step forward. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, chair pose. Hold. Breathe. Utkatasana. Standing on the right leg, let's wrap the left. Garandasana, eagle, right arm up, left under and around. Lift those elbows up and sink deeper into the legs. Untangle, chair pose, and then wrap for eagle on the other side. Wrap the right around the left, left arm up, wrap the right. Untangle, inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Just taking a very slow vinyasa. Inhale, forward plank, knees, chest, chin. Cobra or upward facing dog. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Pause here and breathe. Become present and aware. Release all judgment an opinion about the practice, about your ability. You just need to stay present and breathe. Left leg rises. Second side. Left foot steps forward. Angle the back foot. Virabhasana 1, Warrior 1. Interlace the fingers, palms up. Tuck the chin. I am present, I am aware in the pose, I am breathing. Release the arms, interlace the fingers behind you and reach back, pull those shoulders back. Strengthen the standing legs, maybe drop deeper into the pose. Wrapping the arms around the left side of the waist. Find the still point within the pose. Humble warrior, we bow.
release and rise. Hands to the waist. Find your Satira and Sukham steadiness and ease in the pose. And then reach behind you again. Move forward. Warrior three. Virabhrasana three. Open the arms to airplay. Strength and balance is the key to every pose. In present moment awareness with the breath, place the, the block in the center, readjust as needed. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. If you lose balance, just reconfigure, strengthen, and balance. Breathe. Bring the right arm down, standing split variation. Do what you can do. And then bring that leg down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Grab the big toes, Padakastasana. Draw yourself close to the legs. Ardha Uttanasana, lift the heart. And then rise up, finding balance on the left leg. The right knee comes up. Open the arms out at the shoulders. Reach left hand down to the big toe. Standing twist. Turn back. See if you can cradle this leg. Standing pigeon. Changing up the ending here. Ankle over the knee, chair pose. Reach for the big toe. Straighten that leg, left arm up, look to the right. To look to the left. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten Sandasana. Look forward, both arms up and hold. Release, inhale the arms up, Uttanasana, fold. We'll do the other uh, leg of that standing series and then we'll do Skandasana. Padigastasana, grab the big toes. Inhale and exhale, lift the chest into Ardha Uttanasana. If you need to bend the knees and fold, do that. There's variations.
And now rise all the way up, standing on the left leg, lift the right knee up. Standing pigeon, grab the foot and the knee. Cross the ankle over the knee for chair pose. One-legged chair. Remember what we're practicing today. Pratyahara. Observation. No judgment. Reach down and grab the big toe. Straighten the leg. It's okay if you have a bit knee. Right arm up to the sky and then we're turning the head towards the right. Look forward. Can you reach both arms up and hold? Release. Step left foot way to the back of the mat. And now Skandasana. Hands and heart center if that's possible for you. Hands down, push to the center. Drop those hips. Drop as low as you can. Now lift the hips, drop the head. Hands to the waist, tuck the chin and rise. Step to the front of the mat, step the feet apart. Malasana, yoga squat. Hands down, Uttanasana, heel toe the feet together. Take a vinyasa, inhale with the heart, step back, downward facing dog, plank pose to the mat or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog, right leg lifts, three legged dog, find that balance here, Bring the knee to the chest, step forward, angle the back foot, Viradrasana two, warrior two. Both arms up as you angle back for reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg and lean forward for a triangle position, Trikonasana variation. Bend the right knee, elbow to the knee, extended side angle. And now we're binding the pose. So grab your strap, your scarf, wrap it, drop it behind you with your left arm. Go ahead and bend that elbow. 
and then reach underneath the leg and grab your strap or your scarf. Open the chest to the side rather than turning down towards the floor. I want you to look to the side. Lift the chest up a little bit, get to the side. Now look down, step forward. Bird of Paradise. Yes, it's a challenging class today, no judgment. You might want to put the block underneath the foot. This will give you a higher place to lift from. Inhale and exhale, lift. If you fall, you fall, no judgment. Rise, option of straightening the right leg. Beautiful. Thank you for trying this pose. I know it's a challenge. Release, move the props, forward fold, drop all the way down. Half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana, lift up. Place the hands down, Ardha Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. Long deep breaths, gathering energy. And then left leg rises. Bring the knee to the chest, step forward, angle the back foot. Warrior two, rear drasana two. We've got this second side, you know where we're going. This is just a practice. We're not trying to have the most perfect pose. We're practicing with the abilities of our body. Reach back, both arms up. So it's a reverse warrior, but reaching back. This feels really nice. Opening the, the left side body. Just keep that chin tucked, protect your neck. And then straighten the front leg and we're leaning forward for this triangle variation, Trikonasana. Bend that front knee, elbow to the knee, extended side ankle. We're going to bind the pose. It really helps to have a prop. So you'll wrap the arm around the back of the waist using a scarf or a strap. Maybe you need to step in a little bit with the back foot so you can reach under and grab. We're working towards getting that chest open to the side. Do what you can do. This is Everyone has their own little variation. Working towards the better positioning. Now look at the mat, step forward with the back foot. Come to the toes of the left foot. Now reach way under so you can get a good strong grip with the strap or the scarf. Look at the mat. Now we need a good deep breath. Inhale and rise. It may take a couple of times for you to lift up. That's okay. We're practicing. You can also put, this is very helpful to put the block underneath the toes. Because you, so you have a higher point to lift from. So the strong core is going to, going to lift you up. Inhale. Bird of paradise. 
straighten that leg if you can. And then release, move the block out of the way. Set the strap down. I think we're through with our props. Inhale the arms up. Uttanasana fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Place the hands down. Let's step back to plank. Lower down or chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. I have one more challenging thing for us to try. So step forward with the right foot. Pyramid. Angle the back foot. If you wanted blocks, you could put them on either side of the foot. Front foot for your hands. Actually, this pose would be easier with the blocks. I'll show you what we're doing next. So go to the heel of the front foot and go back. Your pose may not look like mine. My pose may not look like yours. Then you lift up the back heel to hip. You're on the front heel. Hold and release. I'll try that again without blocks. It's not easy. Just do what you can do. So the hands are down, and then you bring the back heel up. Leaning back as much as you can. Now step forward. Switch the legs. Pyramid. Drop your head down. Release the tension in the neck, the shoulders, the jaw. Long, deep breath. And now flex this front foot so you're on the heel. One side of the body may be easier than the other. It may help to walk the hands a little further away, just a little bit. And now pull the heel to, back heel to hip. Drop back down. I'm going to try it twice. Inhale and exhale. And release. Step back, drop the knees, child's pose. We're challenging ourselves today. Do the best you can without judgment, without saying if it's right or wrong, if it's this or that. We're practicing pratahara observation. Malasana, it's that yoga squat, hands at heart center, close your eyes. And now sit down on the mat, straighten the legs. Dandasana, staff pose. Right knee up. We're binding this pose. I said we were through with the props, but you might want a, a strap to bind the pose. So to connect the hands, 
looking to the left. And now draw the chest forward. Keep the bind. Try to lengthen the chest as you drop down. And now drop, release and drop the knee to the side. Reach for the foot or the ankle and look forward. Just look forward, length, lengthening forward. Now release, look down towards the knee, lengthen. Slide the hands back, knee up, arms up. Eight limb pose, if you want to try it. Straighten this right leg, sitting as tall as you can. And maybe you can move forward from this. Maybe you could place the left foot on top of the right ankle, plant the hands down, lean forward and find that arm balance. Come back. Straightening the right leg with the left knee up. Wrap the arms around the knee. And then we bind the pose. Left arm reaches inside and around and you bow forward. Remember, we're not judging ourselves or others. We're just doing what we can, progressing in the strength of the pose. Inhale, sitting up with the knee, fall to the side on the floor, and you reach forward for the foot. Look forward. Inhale and exhale, drop down a little deeper. Keep dropping down, keep dropping forward. Slide the hands back, arms up and rise. Knee pops up, hands down. We're trying for the eight limb pose. I suppose you could use your strap or your scarf, wrap it around the big toe, the ankle, and straighten that leg. Right leg comes up, crossing over the left ankle, plant the hands down, and then we rock forward, shoot the legs to the side and find balance. Look toward the toes. Come back. Bottoms of the feet together. Press the knees down. Bend forward, reach forward. Slide the hands back, sitting up, arms up, straight legs. Bow forward, forward bend. Slide the hands back, fish pose. Hands underneath the bottom, palms down, 
and slowly drop back to the forearms. Arch back, drop the top of the head back, fish pose. Flex those feet, maybe lift the heels up off the mat. Rise, look to the toes. Sitting back up, take the hands out. Bend the knees, round the back. Navasana, boat pose or half boat with the knees bent. Hands down, plow pose. Legs go overhead. Hands support the back, legs to the sky. Bend the knees, roll down, knees to the chest, happy baby, grab the big toes, bring the knees together, open the arms, knees to the right, spinal twist. Knees up and over to the left, spinal twist. Knees up, full body stretch. Again, stretch. And then find your Shavasana. Open the arms out, the legs out, and relax everything onto the mat. Relax without judgment, without making your to-do list. Eyes are closed. Relax your forehead. Move your gaze toward your heart. Allow, allow your tongue to relax. Your jaw to relax. Place your tongue behind your teeth. 
everything is relaxed. Focus on the bridge of the nose. Allow the cheekbones to melt down to the earlobes. Draw an imaginary line down the center of your face and relax the skin toward your hairline. Continue to rest for as long as you like in this Shavasana meditation. Pay attention to what draws your, your energy today. What draws you? What observations? What attention? What judgments? What opinions rise up? Notice them and then just let them move on. Notice if these observations are positive or negative. Can you be more non-reactive to what comes your way? Take some time to just intentionally observe. Be present and practice pratyahara. It will help you to find balance in your life. Bringing the hands to heart center. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Namaste.